Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Farming Simulator. We are here in Midwest Horizon and I have some bad news. I've been robbed! Um, I think I'm joking. I'm actually not. I have a ton of equipment that I no longer own and I don't know where it went to. Oop, wrong screen. I want to go into this one. This is our list of owned items. And I, 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 I just don't know. Like, I don't have a harvester for my, for these guys. I don't have a lot of my original equipment. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and it happened when I did that uh, trucking job when over in Kansas. So I took a little bit of the money that I had available to me and I bought this truck because otherwise I really didn't want to be trying to use a DeLorean for a farm use vehicle. Man, that Silverado's loud. I do have it set up as a dually uh, because we will be using it quite heavily to get new equipment to the farm. Um, I legit don't know. I don't know if I have a mod conflict issue now all of a sudden for me to all, just randomly lose all of those. I don't believe... No, I actually, I know this map hasn't been updated because this is not part of Mod Hub. This is uh, outside, so I don't, it might be a conflict with a recent update. I, I'm just at a loss, but I've been having some issues on this map anyway. So if I can't update it, we may not be playing on this map anymore. Sad to say, I know. But I've been trying out some other maps, uh, trying to get some other things going. But is this it for Midwest Horizon? It's hard to say. Uh, we were just getting things going with the leased homes. I mean, I can always do that for another map. I just like this map because it's close to home. I might go and see. I doubt there's an update, but I'm, I'll probably go and see if there's an update for it. And if not, then, oh well, it's time to move on to a different map anyway. Oh, I see the Merry Christmas there in the distance. Okay, I think the homes are finally loading in. Sorry, I'm not paying attention to my driving here. Ooh. I think I made some adjustments to the dead zone on here, and it I don't like it. All right, so it looks like everything here has loaded in for the most part. I just really like the way this turned out. I don't really want to go to a different map and redo it. But if I have to, I will, most certainly. Yeah. This area seems fine. Well, as fine as it can be, anyway. It's okay, the grass is dead right now. It's December in real world time. <laughs> Yeah, nothing here. I'm glad to see like all the changes I made to my map, it's like to all the different fields and everything, are still in good shape. But I just outright lost equipment. <laughs> and again, I don't know why. If I can figure out a way to yeah, either get them back or possibly fix the map on the save game we'll see what we can do from here but I mean, this was definitely unexpected and I apologize not the, exactly the video I wanted to do here 
But I am showing off this new Silverado that we got. This is the Chevy Edition, not the Lizard. I just put in that back there. I got nothing over here. None of our... Okay, we're off far enough that that won't block traffic. Oh, they got the Ecto-1! No! They left the DeLorean, though. I guess they don't know how to drive stick. Oh, man. I don't like this at all. Took my rock collector, all my equipment out of here. I haven't even back, been back to the farm yet. Didn't see exactly what they took. They left only a couple things in here. Probably what they didn't have. You know, what they couldn't load up. Or just simply drive. Apparently they don't need that. Or either that or they're not an outright John Deere fan. But yeah, I have no collisions in here. So it's not like, you know, they're just invisible, but with still collisions, it's just, they're gone. All my trucks, my trailers, it's not like, uh, you know, someone else got in here and sold it. I'm very irritated by this. I put some real time and effort into this map, but I think it's, it might be time to swap out anyway, so. Yeah, they got all those trucks. Even the one, even my mowers, they wipe me clean. Of course they left the crapper. Well, this is disappointing. Hmm. I'm not gonna spend the time to rebuild everything today. I think we're gonna go on to a better situation um i thought i saw something in the grass um you know we're just gonna move on and i'm gonna cut this uh one for now we're not ending the video but i'm just kind of cut this recording for now i'm gonna go take a look at what other feel what other maps i got available which are many and uh, see what we can do. See what map might fit the bill. And kind of go from there. We'll see you here shortly. Well, for you, it's going to be shortly. For me, it's going to be a little bit longer. Because I want to make sure I can get a build going. And uh, figure out from there. So, yeah. Hold on to your butts. It might be a crazy one. Alright, guys. We have made our way back to Stone Valley. And I say we made our way back because at one point I did try to do a series here. And uh, I don't remember exactly how far we got. So let's see what we got going on here. Because I've been meaning to get back to this. Uh, supposedly there is going to be an update coming for this map. So I may not do too much with it just yet until that comes out. So we do have a Lizard Pickup 1986 with Illinois plates. Okay, and that's where they have this based out of. I completely forgot about that. Were you just sniffing my butt, dog? Huh? Whoa. Demon dog went through the house without using a door. Uh, what do we have in here? Anything? Nope, that's empty. Mm, anything back behind? Nope. 
Ooh, we do have this field that's ready to go. Oh. I did walk through water. Mud stuff. Um, we're going to use the stuff that came with, because supposedly the idea behind this farm is, if you guys aren't aware, that is, the farmer uh, just up and left mid-harvest. You can see a harvester out there with uh, the uh, with the cart, grain cart and whatnot. Apparently this uh, guy is ready to go and already started cultivating the land, but I have a feeling we may need to plow this. Uh, yeah, that's something I'm going to have to look into. Or at least see if we even have a plow. But I do want to kind of uh, do this in the spirit of the original creator's intent for this map. Oop. And I just hopped right in here and I didn't make a few adjustments. So what I normally do, um, for you guys who are curious, I'll come in here, I'll set economy to, to normal. We're going to do... Well, we'll do four day months. Uh, I sometimes vary it between five and three. Crop destruction is on. It's fine. Periodic plowing required on. I hate rolling. I think it's pointless in my opinion. So we're just going to turn that off. I think I also have a mod where um, cultivating, I think, also gives the rolling uh, aspect to it. We're going to deal with field zones for now. Weeds, yes. Mm, excuse me, sorry, I tried to hide that burp. Um, dirt normal. This is where we're going to turn off the automatic engine start and the stop and go braking because I do have my steering set up. We're not going to worry about a trailer fill limit. Basically, it forces the game to not completely fill up a trailer, but fill it up to the max capacity as far per weight. Fuel usage is normal, that's fine. We're going to turn off. At least these three. Fuel, seeds, and fertilizer. Um, because that will allow us to run... Basically run, like, say, uh, course play. And if we're seeding, we don't have to worry about actually spending money on seed aside from what's already in the machine. When it runs out, we just will fill it with whatever we have at the farm. Slurry manure, most of the, even the mods that I currently have, they just uh, blow right through that stuff. So it's a lot easier, in my opinion, just to let it by. So we'll fill it up, you know, with, say, five liters and just let it go on its way. So we're not spending money to completely, we won't spend money to completely fill unless we end up getting a, uh, a farm uh, animal building, for example. That will allow us to um, get it get it from there because there are sometimes options that will pop up here that will allow you to set it to where it, it can uh, pick it up pick up manure from the cattle barn or whatever it is. So um, that's all fine. I do tend to, and this is a mod here, uh, dynamic load or enhanced loan system is the mod. I tend to set it to where if I want to take out a 50 month loan, I can. Um, and I just leave dynamic loan interest rate on because why not? And all that's the same. Um, just kind of want to check something here real quick. I normally don't have to worry about Anything on this, on the general settings. Um, ooh, one other thing. Okay, I'm just making sure that some of my uh, control settings that I've changed that it hasn't updated it or removed it or whatever. So. Let's 
Let's see if I can figure out which button is which. Oh, that's right. All right, jelly beans, you need to move. I don't know why I have a set of, you know, bag of jelly beans on my control system, but there we go. All right, so what I want to do is we're going to do a course play. Oh, that is another thing. Uh, so we are going to do two headlands. We'll have it set to do headlands. We're going to set it to sharp because that will actually get all the little corners, or most of them. And we'll do 8%. That generated pretty quick. All right. Uh, we're going to start that. I do want to come over here. Okay, got around that tractor just fine. I'm watching it in the background. I need... Okay. Actually, we won't worry about the automatic cutter attach. But we will have it to where, as long as there's a um, grain cart on the field or near the field, it will unload itself when it gets full. Um, I don't have anything to pick up straw right now, I don't believe. So we're going to turn that off. Um... And this one, because I'm still, I'm treating it like I'm still in the cart, I'm just using GPS to do its thing. We're going to set it that. I'm going to kind of worry about doing much of that. And these are the settings that I've just recently started to do myself. And update and whatnot, so. Sorry about that. Alright, so we have to get a couple of these pieces of equipment out of the way. And I do not have track hour running right now. I've been finding that even with this steering setup right now, I'm just not that big of a fan with, at least right now, I haven't been a fan of track RR with this game. So we're just gonna pull this over here uh, completely out of the way. Okay. So this is the other tractor that we currently need. Since he's already been over here. Actually, let's turn it around, shall we? at least over here when he comes around whenever we get full we can get just go straight ahead that's our pickup and the camera's in the trees so when you set it to sharp that's what it does with sharp instead of rounding the corners unless your field is rounded I tend to recommend going with sharp and this is the other thing that it does, as it kind of carves out another row. And basically what that will do is allow him to make the turn without actually missing anything. $11 wage payment. So, kind of like what you see there, it's a nice clean turn. He's continuing it on. Um, yeah, this will be our, currently a, this will be our new map uh, to replace Midwest Horizon. Um, 
we may might make a return to New Midwest Horizon uh, in the future. I don't know. Maybe for special occasions. Uh, I've, it, it's kind of gone in a direction that I didn't really want it to, to an extent. Mainly because I just didn't know how I wanted to take that. It's just a map that I love and it looks beautiful and amazing, but I don't know how long it's been since it's been updated. But I think for the time being, we're going to try to get this map caught up to speed as far as where we're kind of at with some of the other maps, with the other two maps. Um, I've also thought about starting a uh, playthrough on Goldcrest. I think that's the name of it. Um, there's been a new mod that came out that basically allows you to play through the years um, of farming, which what that does is it takes whatever farm equipment you have in your mod folder and I guess it figures out oh yeah I forgot that the old farmer went drove right through his field here tearing up his crop but um, it takes your equipment and I somehow figures out you know the year that was manufactured uh, if I really wanted to get into it I would try to do that with all the pieces of, of equipment and try to get a label put on there the correct label that is because it'll then only let you purchase uh, equipment for certain years so as you progress through your years of farming you'll open up newer and newer technology and I think that might just be an interesting playthrough I'll probably start that on my own just to give it a shot, get it a give it a feel, see if it would actually make sense for me to do. But that is something that I am very much considering. If anything, I might just take try to see if I can take the time to um, get a list together of equipment that I have and block by an object. You have a fence behind you. Just go. <laughs> there you go. Apparently I had to do that a little differently. Alright. There we go. Get him reset. But, yeah, I think this will be... Since I, I feel like I've matured a little bit better with actually doing these playthroughs, I think it's going to help me make this a little bit more welcome. Wel welcoming and interesting. Um, instead of just coming in here, getting rid of all the machinery that's on the f map, and just buying whatever the heck I want, however big it is, it doesn't matter type of deal. Uh, we're going to do what we can to make it make sense. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this particular harvester, but we're going to make it work for now. Um, I don't want to just outright replace it offhand. I mean, coming into the game, we're started off with a hundred thousand dollars plain and simple yeah I'd get uh, money for selling this and the header that goes with it but would it be enough to make a purchase for probably something more of what would be up my alley which as you probably all know is a John Deere I love John Deere in this game now the price tag of what they are in real life not so much I would gladly buy one of these top liners if they were dirt cheap compared to a John Deere. But it is what it is, as the saying goes. But I think we're going to end the episode there, guys. So, as always, if you happen to like what you see or forget yourself for watching more than one of my videos, please do us both a favor and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That bell will let you be notified of every single video I post and not just select few in here and there. See, that's what happens when he doesn't do a sharp turn, he misses stuff. <laughs> so guys whether you're subscribed or not I do want to thank you and greatly appreciate each and every one of you who have made it this far in my video and if you're not subscribed why not
it's free, you know. Anyway. So with all that being said, guys, I hope each and every one of you have a very merry holiday season. And specifically from me, a very merry Christmas this year. So with all that being said, guys, we'll catch you in the next episode. So take care. Peace.